Hey guys, what's up? My name's Goldblade, and today I'm coming to you guys with another video. Um, so right now I have my Xbox 360, and it is stuck in a um, boot system update loop, and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, fix that. So as you can see, you can't read the update from the disk. Please reinsert um, to continue the update from Cisco says Xbox support. So to fix this, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either get a USB or a CD that you can put uh, files onto on your computer. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the second um, set of numbers in this code. And if you know what hexadecimal is, um, this is a hexadecimal representation of a, a number. So 43C5, right here I have it entered in 17. Uh, 34.9 so 43c5 if I just reset that I can show you that it's not actually just written in so 4th uh, 17.34.9 if you look up that update I have Xbox update 17.34.9 and I found this right here system update right here um, you can probably find other ones you know download firmware how to get update you, there, there's a lot of them but it all varies on that you know that number that you have when you decode that second thing so clicking on into one of those links, you get this. It tells you a little bit how to do it, but I'll also just explain it to you. Um, so I already downloaded the update, and then I'm going to go on to my <clears throat> USB and drag that in there, and I'll be right back. Here I have this in my USB, and I'm going to extract it. So I'm just going to right-click and click Extract here and wait for this to finish. It's going to just finish really fast. Um, we just want the system update on the root of the drive. So I'm just going to wait for this to completely uncompress and I'll be right back. Okay. I am back and I'm just going to delete the zip file right here because I don't need that on the drive and click yes. So now that we have just the um, percent system or the dollar sign system update, what we're, we're going to do, we're going to click down here and then we're going to eject the drive and put that into our um, 360 to start the update. So I'm going to switch over to the um, 360 and we can continue from there. Okay, I am over on the console now, and I'm going to plug in the USB for the update. I'm just going to plug it into one of the back USB ports of the console, because they're easier to access for me. As we can see, the update is up there. And... Right here pops up a yes or no um, prompt to update the console. I don't have a controller on me at the moment, so I need to restart into the dashboard and then I will connect the controller and continue from there. If you have a controller connected, just go to yes and it should download the update automatically, but I'm going to do the little bit longer way. Okay, so once I got to the dashboard, I just connected to the internet and it prompted me again to update. So I, once I clicked yes, it fully updated the console. Um, that I don't have on video because for some reason it stopped recording. But after that, this is the screen that I got to um, after everything was completely um, updated. So this just shows that I actually got onto my dashboard and I was able to, you know, still access my stuff and play my games. So. Yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions or comments about this or need any help, let me know. And yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Glad I could help you guys out. And if you want to watch more video content like this, subscribe and like down below. And I'll hope to see you guys later.